Meanwhile, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is partnering with the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences, ICPC, to address the issue of vote buying in the 2019 general election. The two agencies promised to ensure the credibility of the 2019 polls by making sure the corrupt politicians do not get away with any act of electoral manipulations. ICPC acting chairman Ismaila Abubakar admitted that vote buying is becoming a new trend in electoral malpractices and assured that the commission is ready to help INEC apprehend offenders and prosecute them. The major issue is the issue of uh, vote uh, buying. Uh, it is now a major concern, I believe, here and among the uh, uh, people you know, uh, uh, on the street that uh, what uh, buying is now in vogue uh, in our election uh, generally. And um, it is really something of concern to us and to corruption agencies, and I believe the uh, the, the electoral uh, uh, body, that is uh, the INEC. Um, I would like to uh, inform the uh, public generally and the Commission that ICPC has enormous powers to deal with all cases of corruption and uh, malpractices, uh, including those in uh, election. Our law under Section 6 a to F, that is ICPC Act 2000, uh, year 2000, has empowered the Commission to investigate and prosecute any person involved in any act of bribery and corruption under any law that prohibits corruption. I believe uh, the Electoral Act also provide a number of uh, you know, uh, sections that deal with corruption and bribery. So uh, vote buying is one of the corrupt practices that uh, you know, are prohibited under both our Act and the Electoral Act. Addressing the challenges that have manifested in recent elections particularly with the deployment of money to buy votes, is not only a matter for the Commission, it's also a matter for both the EFCC and the ICPC. INEC is determined to ensure that vote buying does not determine our 2019 general elections. The votes cast by citizens will continue to determine who wins in our elections. And we are focusing more on the processes leading to that outcome. The outcome for any election is entirely in the hands of the voters. But we are responsible of ensuring that the processes lead to free, fair, and credible elections. So I want to assure you, the acting chairman of the ICPC, that the Commission shares your concern about the incidence of vote buying in our elections and will work with your Commission to ensure that we address this menace. But let me also assure Nigerians that in addition to working with the EFCC and the ICPC, INEC is also taking steps to ensure that votes are not bought, particularly at the polling units on election day. We have said that we are going to review the administration of our polling units in such a way that will make it difficult, if not impossible, for citizens who vote to expose their marked ballot papers before dropping the ballot papers into the ballot boxes. As you are aware, voting is secret, but the casting of the ballot is done in the open as required by the Electoral Act. That is why we have the voting cubicles, where citizens can make their choice in secret before dropping the ballot papers into the ballot boxes.